Hey seniors, um, welcome to your last couple weeks of high school. Um, I know it's a little bit different than what you had imagined, but I hope that there's um, reason for great joy in it as well, in, in spite of the struggles. Um, so I just wanted to upload this video to discuss um, your final project, which will essentially be our final exam. This will be it for us. Um, your final project, the assignment page in the rubric, and all that has been uploaded on Plus Portals under Class Files. Um, so this is really just me verbally explaining it because I'm an auditory learner, so I thought, why not? Um, for this project, you have three options. They all have very similar, um, similar components. They have really similar rubrics as well, but I just wanted to give you an option of doing something that suits how you learn best, especially because everything's been so weird with online learning. Um, so I'll just like read the directions and then I'll um, break a few things down. Um, so to conclude our unit on crime and punishment, you will choose one of the following options to complete and turn in via Plus Portals by May 21st, that's a Thursday, um, or to the OneDrive file that I shared with you. Please email me if you have any questions. So. First thing about this, I just shared a OneDrive folder with you um, that is titled Senior 2020 Final CNP Projects. I didn't know how um, Plus Portals would handle if you chose the video option or the PowerPoint option. So you can turn it in either way. My preference is actually that you turn it in via the OneDrive folder, but if you have any questions or problems with it at all, please just send me an email, let me know. Um, so here are some questions to get you thinking. So you'll know from my papers that I give you a lot of different options, a lot of different prompts to choose from. Um, so here, here are the, the questions. What we've been really focusing on with Crime and Punishment is this idea of death and resurrection and how these characters come to find resurrection, how they're dead in the beginning. Um, so here's some ideas. Discuss the theme of death and resurrection as seen in the novel. How are Raskolnikov and Sonia morally dead? How do they come to moral resurrection? Does Dostoevsky think anyone is beyond redemption? And what can the reader, or how can the reader, apply this idea of death and resurrection to their own life? And how might this idea be related to one of our other works? So you could think about um, how this relates to Dante. If you want to take it back to the Aeneid or even Brideshead, um, that would be awesome too. So you're more than welcome to do that. Um, so the first option is a video project. For this option, you'll make a three to five minute video, very similar to these video lectures that I've been doing, uh, discussing the importance of one of the themes or characters in the novel. And you can, um, talk about a couple of these as well. Um, so with the themes, we have pride and humility, death and resurrection, and vice and virtue. Um, and all of these things are really tied together. It's a very holistic, um, novel. So, you can focus on one of these or you can tie them all in and talk about how they're all related to each other. And then the characters, we have Raskolnia, Raskolnikov, Sonia, or Dunya. Um, so your video must include three direct quotes. There was a typo on the rubric um, when I originally posted it. I have changed it now. Um, it's just three direct quotes, not five. So three direct quotes. For each quote, you must have analysis that discusses how the how that quote contributes to your theme or character of choice. Um, you need to have a thesis or an argument. So when you're talking about death and resurrection, your thesis will be saying, what is Dostoevsky saying about death and resurrection through this novel? Um, and if you wanna tie in some of our previous works, you could say, how is Dostoevsky, um, how, is his, how are his views uh, similar to um, that of Dante or Evelyn Waugh or Virgil, if you want. Um, and then the last part is a recommendation. So you have your three direct quotes, you have a thesis that has your argument, what you're trying to prove, and then you have a recommendation. So you're going to explain why this book is either relevant, or if you want to argue that it's irrelevant, you can. Um, would you recommend it to a friend? Why or why not? And what is the most valuable thing one could glean from this novel? So if you are going to argue that this is, uh, that this book is irrelevant, I want you to have a good argument for that because it's very easy to be like, yeah, I wouldn't recommend this to a friend. I don't read. Um, that's not good enough for this project. You need to be talking about why 
why shouldn't we read it? Because there are some books that we probably shouldn't read. Um, if that's your view, why not this one? Um, so your rubric, it's out of 50 points, including three quotes, 15 points. Um, so if you only have two quotes, it's 10 points and so on. Um, your recommendation is 15 points. The sophistication of your thesis and argument is 15 points. And then the quality of your video is five points. I'm not looking for you to be um, an amazing director or anything, but if it's super fuzzy, if the camera's falling down all the time, if it's really dark, if I can't hear your voice, it's really hard for me to grade um, what you're actually trying to say. So make sure it's a quality piece of work that you're turning in is what that's about. All right, option number two, a PowerPoint presentation. Um, for this option, you'll make a 10 to 15 slide PowerPoint discussing the importance of one of the themes or characters in the novel. Again, same theme, same characters you can choose from. Um, still needs to have three direct quotes. You still need a thesis and an argument. You're just doing it in PowerPoint format. Um, you need also a recommendation. And then on the PowerPoint one, you need to have at least three images that pertain to the novel and you need to say what is significant about those images and how do they relate to your theme or character that you are discussing. Um, so video rubric, 15 points for three quotes, 15 points for the recommendation, 15 points for the sophistication of your argument and your thesis, and then five points for um, appropriate images and the explanations that you have for those. All right, last option, which I'm sure so many people are gonna choose, um, is the classic paper. Um, except this one will be much easier than your Dante paper. Um, this one is only three pages. You don't need to have any outside sources, just um, the three direct quotes from the novel itself. Um, so again, themes and characters are the same. You need to have three direct quotes. Um, and then you need to have a thesis and an argument like a typical paper where you're trying to prove um, something, thesis, last uh, last sentence of your first paragraph, um, paragraphs five to seven sentences in length, things like that. You still need to have a recommendation. Um, so the paper rubric includes three quotes, has a recommendation, sophistication of your argument, and then the five points um, on the paper comes from MLA formatting. Uh, it still needs to be an MLA formatting if it is a paper for this class. Um, so those are your three options. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns about it. Um, if you have uh, another prompt that you want to address based on this novel, please let me know. Um, I'm pretty open to that if there is something that you really want to talk about. Um, I love this book and there's so many things to talk about. So um, just send me an email and if I approve it, you can write about it or do your video about it. Um, but yeah, so... Good luck working on this final English project of your senior year, guys.